welcome to another episode of Fruit Journey. Today I'm gonna tell you the secret trick to pluck your eyebrows and have no pain. And the trick is, don't pluck them. You don't have to. If you don't want it to be painful, don't do things that are painful. It's like, if you don't want to burn your fingers when you touch fire, just don't touch fire. And plucking your eyebrows is painful. It's not gonna stop being painful. And maybe it's painful for a reason. Maybe your brain is telling you, no, I don't really like this. Maybe when you shave or when you wax, it feels painful because it's a natural reaction of the body to say, to send pain signals when something is happening that is not ideal. It's like when you have a cut, the pain is there to tell you stop what you're doing or pay attention or take care because this could, this could harm the whole system, the whole functioning of the whole body. It's, everything works together in harmony and when you disrupt that harmony, that harmony there is pain. There is also pain in emotional disruptions and I can understand that if in your mind you're thinking over and over again about how it feels so painful socially to have body hair, then probably it is better that you shave or plug or wax because then maybe the physical pain of not having, of take, getting rid of your hair is gonna be less pain than the social anxiety of not being accepted and not having, having so much, um, so much judgment to yourself and being, being judged by others. I personally have felt this way and I've made this decision in the past. I was in jazz school and I really didn't have that many friends and I felt already out of place and already kind of anxious about being a classical pianist who's trying to learn piano jazz and for me to be an outcast already and then also having leg hair and armpit hair and eyebrows hair like monogrow I already felt like that would be too much because the the mental emotional pain was too much for me and so after having my body hair for a month or a couple weeks that was after I came back from the summer where I was in Ecuador and I was in the jungle and I didn't really care there I felt good there but then coming back to school I had all of that social anxiety because of the hair and I felt like it was okay to give myself a break and say you know maybe you're not ready for this yet and that's all right you don't have to to do this step right now. What I'm saying is there will be a moment where maybe you have less social uh, time with people, especially when the quarantine happens, which is happening now, and that could be a really good time to grow your wings out and be yourself and not endure the pain of having to shave or wax or anything because nobody is gonna see you anyways, or maybe very little amount of people. Um, so I just waited it out until I felt more comfortable with my body hair and and now I would say that I'm really happy that I'm not inflicting that pain to my body anymore. I'm just loving my body and it's loving me back and I don't have that social anxiety and I don't judge myself or I don't feel judged and I just embrace what I am and if there, there's ever thoughts that come to my mind about oh maybe this person doesn't like how I look or maybe they think I'm too masculine or I'm ugly because I have a monogro then I just say I recognize this thought and it's not useful to me so thank you and we're not gonna think about it and then I just go back to my peace of mind and it feels really good so how to pluck your eyebrows with no pain, just don't pluck them. It's that simple. If you enjoyed this video and if you want more of these videos, you can hit the like button, thumbs up, 
or and subscribe and comment and you can also send me a message you can add me on instagram i'm always there to talk about everything and share and support and um, i love you